Water softener brine tanks take in water to make brine to regenerate the water softener. But how much water should be in there? Should you be adding some water? Should you be removing some water? Maybe there's no water in yours at all, or maybe it's overflowing. Well, I'm going to explain exactly how much water should be in your brine tank starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. So whether you're a do-it-yourself homeowner, a plumber, or water filtration specialist, this video is for you. Knowing how these things work would really be beneficial going forward in this video. If you're not sure, I've got a link in the description down below to a great YouTube video on how a water softener works. Basically what happens is water goes into the brine tank. There's already salt in there. That water touches the salt, absorbs it, and that's what's used to regenerate the media inside the water softener. So the water softener, based on its settings, determines how much water goes into the brine tank. But you need to keep a number of things in mind to determine what the correct water level should be inside your water softener. So big box store water softeners like the kind that you see at Home Depot, uh, Costco, places like that, they're what's called a pre-fill water softener. So what that means is when they finish their regeneration cycle, they put no water in with the salt. It's when the cycle starts before they start putting in water. So it's 100% normal for those to have no salt in them whatsoever. I've got a great uh, YouTube video that talks a little bit about that and I'll put a link to it in the description down below. The efficiency level of a water softener also makes a big difference in terms of the, the water level inside there. If you have a high efficiency water softener like a Water Boss or an Aquamaster like this one here, because they use very little salt to regenerate, the water level inside that water softener is only two or three inches. If you've got a standard efficiency water softener like this Hume Water Care, uh, clock valve water softener here, which is, and again, it's standard efficiency, so it needs more salt to regenerate. So the water level in there uh, could be quite high. Now, depending on the salt level that you have inside your brine tank, if your salt level is significantly higher than what the water level is, you may not see any water at all, but it's in there. It's at the bottom. So the water softener settings actually determine how much water ends up in the brine tank. So how hard your water is and the capacity of the water softener itself. In other words, the size of the water softener. So if you have very hard water and you have a large uh, group of people living in one location and you use a lot of water, then your uh, water softener will be a much larger water softener than these two that are sitting here. So because they're a larger water softener, they're also going to need more um, brine to regenerate. So because of that, there's going to be a lot more water in there absorbing that salt to make brine. You have to realize a, a gallon of water absorbs about three pounds of salt. So with a water softener like this that uses almost nine pounds uh, per regeneration, you're going to have to have three gallons of water in there. But with a water softener like this Aquamaster, for example, it only uses about uh, two and a half uh, pounds of, of salt to regenerate. So again, there'll be less than a gallon of water in there. So as you can see, in the older style analog type water softeners that use 12 or 15 pounds of salt per regeneration, there's going to be a whole lot more water in there than it will be with an Aquamaster or Water Boss high efficiency water softener. Now if you suddenly have a lot of water inside your brine tank that you've never had before, you better check out the link down below in the description to my water softener troubleshooting video. Lots of great information there will definitely help you out. For my next video on water softeners, click over here and I'll see you there.